So Windows Sun Valley is a rumored version of Windows that's soon to come out that will turn Windows from this really kind of old experience into something way more modern. Think of your Windows computer looking like a Mac. Now, this is a simulated look on how Windows Sun Valley will look. And mind you, there are a couple applications in here that I personally wouldn't use in terms of reliability, but there are some applications that I would highly suggest you using because it just improves how things look and it is completely worth it. So to start off, we have a Windows Sun Valley looking text editor. It's basically the notepad, but a little more fancy. Now this one has a couple of features. You can add different tabs, you can save files, and it looks nice. That's basically it. Notepad in itself sucks, and most people probably use Notepad++, but Notepads is actually fantastic. Now, the next thing I want to look at is Files. Now, Files is an app that makes basically your file explorer look great. Like, honestly, it looks fantastic. There's a lot of things you can do with it. The only unfortunate thing that I found is that my files tend to crash, like, all the time. I couldn't copy any files or do anything, so I would definitely not use this one. But before I get you all clicking off, there is something I just want to show you. I'm going to change my volume for a second. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You can adjust your volume and it pops up in this nice little menu. And what you could also do is remove this little top bar thing and it looks even cleaner. It shows you what you're listening to on Spotify. You can click play or you can do a couple more settings like shuffle, repeat, stop. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with this specific application, which hopefully should be in Windows Sun Valley. I really think uh, Microsoft should try to implement this. Moreover, there is a new simulated mail client. Now, I don't know a lot of people that actually use the Windows mail client, but if you do, you should have this nice, way more modern looking email client versus the old one that looks kind of like Windows 8 still. Now, mind you, all this stuff is nice, beautiful, and bright, but most of us are on our computers late at night. So how do we change that? Well, I'm gonna turn on dark mode right now. So most of these applications will automatically adjust to the color scheme that, you know, your Windows is, and it's pretty useful, mind you. Like everything still looks beautiful and looks exactly the same and is in dark mode, except for Mail Springs being a little bit weird. So you might be asking, which applications am I using to simulate this Windows Sun Valley look and which ones would I recommend? Well, to start off, the first thing that I'm using is Taskbar X. Now, it is paid if you buy it from the Microsoft Store, but you can go to the other link in the description and download it through the guy's website. This is the developer guy. This is not a crack. This is just him being extremely generous. So if you do enjoy the centered taskbar and a lot of customization you can do with it, feel free to, uh, you know, buy it, support the guy, just be a nice person. The next thing I have is Modern Flyouts. Now, Modern Flyouts basically has the cool volume up and volume down thing, and it does work for brightness, which is really cool, but I have external monitors, so I don't have any brightness control. So that's Modern Flyouts. Now, Modern Flyouts and Taskbar X, use them. They are fantastic. I actually love these. I use Modern Flyouts all the time, and I use Taskbar X all the time because it's just such a small thing, and it looks fantastic. Now there's the files and the files app I was talking about a little bit before, but it crashes all the time. So I would avoid this and just look at it and enjoy the eye candy. Now there's MailSpring. MailSpring is, you know, the mail client. And I mean, it's up to you if you really want to have a mail client on your desktop. I personally just use Chrome in the browser or just use my phone. So this isn't much uh, interest to me. But if you want it, feel free to download it. And to turn it into dark mode, you just need to go to the top right, click on the little drop down, go to preferences, go to appearance, and change theme. And you can change it to light mode. Less is more. You can change it to whatever you want, basically. I put it to dark mode. Now, this notepad thing, this is actually called notepads, plural. Now, notepads will also be in the description, but it's that small, modern, lightweight text editor. So you could use that if you want. Personally, I want a little bit more oomph in my notepad, so I use Notepad++, which looks ugly. But in any case, that's how Windows Sun Valley should look if Microsoft listens to our concerns and does a whole bunch of other stuff and makes everything look fancy because Windows themes are great, but having native support on Windows without having to change any of your system files is definitely a step up. I like the look of MacBooks and their OS, but I can't deal with macOS because I'd shoot myself 
or my computer just doesn't run with it. But it's okay. My computer's a champ anyways. Love you. Mwah.